Hey guys, it's hey. Scott and Alex again. Hey guys. We are continuing our uh, get, the freeze free games. We're doing free the games. Free game list. Yes. This looked like another spooky game. You can tell by the overbearing music. In uh, the in the creepy circle, the magic circle. The creepy circle. You mean Azuriel circle? Yes. Oh. It's been claimed. Oh, okay. It's theirs. It's true. There's no, there's a thing. All right. Let's start a game. Okay. So far, so good. Jordan, uh, good job, I guess? We'll see. Matt? Matt? Maybe. Sure, why not? In case you forgot what you were playing. True. Oh, there's no voice acting. Oh. Uh, Alright. Okay. My name is Clint Lancaster. I'm a detective. Originally from Lancashire, England. I already started with a detective voice. I'm not doing British. I'm no, not. No, no. I'm just going to offend more people. <laughs> Let's avoid that. I'm going to tell you about my investigation into my own mother's death. There are a lot of suspicious circumstances surrounding my old family farmhouse. It's somewhere I'll never venture again. I want you to hear the story in full detail so you can be wary. You may find this hard to believe, but it's true. It's all true! I arrived at Lancaster Farm late one night. I walked up the driveway and into my old front yard. So basically, don't go to his house. Pretty much. Home at last. Oh, look at him. Look at him. Easy does it, Clint. Looks like you're a nice, everyday man. <laughs> you're a regular, average white man. You've seen worse things on your own house. Yeah, you've seen worse things than your own house on the job. Although, the worst things didn't involve your own mother's suicide. We're off to a great start. Here's the thing. Why would he be allowed to even investigate this? Because detective. In yeah, but... Video game? Okay. No, it was not a conflict of interest to investigate your own family's murder. Shut up. <laughs> Chin up. It'll be all right. Wait. Who left the lights on? He just noticed. And why is the door wide open? He's a terrible detective already. Y yeah. If I was as sloppy as the coppers in these parts, I'd be out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him glide! <laughs> roller Look skates. At him go. <laughs> he got roller skates as part of the job. <laughs> standard <laughs> issue. <laughs> All right, easy standard issue roller skates. <laughs> you said you weren't gonna do that. Oh, you're right. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, I guess I gotta go into my own murder house. Just skate into your own house. <laughs> <laughs> Where to begin? What's that envelope on the table? Let's find out. Clint, I mm. told you not to skate in the house. <laughs> sorry, mother. <laughs> He lost his accent when he left home. <laughs> hmm, this envelope isn't sealed anymore. I wonder if it's if it's what the investigate. Wow, that I can't talk. Whatever. They looked at it in the house. Dear Clint, I'm sure that when you learn of my death, you'll show up here. I'm sorry for chasing you away after your father passed. I know it was hard on you too, and you most certainly didn't deserve to be treated in such a way. I'm not in my right mind anymore. I fear. I must take my own life to put an end to the heresy that I've committed. Ooh, wow, okay. In my last moment of clarity, know that your mother is sorry that her demon is now yours. It will creep out from beneath. It will find you. With love, mother. <laughs> Please tell me his dad's name is Philip. <laughs> Philip! <laughs> yes, I just like that. I'm sending you a demon. With love. It'll creep Thanks. out from beneath. What's that supposed to mean? She really went off the deep end in her final days. Did you even visit her? I don't know. Hmm, it's already nine o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, stop skating in the house! <laughs> it's an old umbrella. Doesn't appear to have been used lately. Eh? Forgot all about this. It's a picture of a peaceful farm scene that my father liked. Um, okay. Mm. Ah, dinner. That's a fairly fancy table it for is. a farmhouse. This is making me feel somewhat hungry. We used to always eat our special Sunday dinner here. How special was it? Uh, you tell me, Mr. Picture. It's a portrait of John Lancaster, my great-grandfather. Used to scare me half to death as a child. Did we just walk into Game of Thrones? I mean, seriously. <laughs> the, oh. Huh? <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, uh, no, not it's here. It's a little stiff. Wait, what? Oh, no, I, I hit the button twice. Oh, I guess we weren't supposed... Oh, a key? Was... 
door at the top of the st Okay. Okay. D wait, what was that, like, tinking glass sound Did when I Did you pick up a glass? I don't know. I want these plates, though. I want that plate I that looks like a square. Mom always loved these ornamental plates. If I remember right, they were a wedding present. The only one. D that's all they got. That's all they got with those set of plates. No, they got the this really nice uh, set of candles down here. Red candles for a wedding? Cat! Smokey! Where? Where are you hiding? Stupid cat. Hey, cats are nice. Turn the up. lights. Oh, they're already on. Wow. Uh, really? These lights do a great job. They're terrible lights. It's all right, because I emit my own light, see? <laughs> you are the light of the world there, Clint. <laughs> this plant hasn't been fed or watered in some time. Detective! <laughs> He's detecting things like he should be. Phone line seems to be dead. Safe? Dad just keeps the spare shotgun ammo in here. What was the combination? I need three sets of two digits to turn it correct. Okay. So you need six numbers. Just say it. No, it has to be more specific like that. It wasn't zero, 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 zero. I mean, it should have been. All right. What do we got? This leads to my parents' room. The door's locked. Where's the key? You never go in your parents' room. Ugh, not after what I saw last time. This leads to the ladder to the attic. The door's locked. Where's the key? I thought you had a key. I, that's what I'm looking for. It's the door to my room, but it's locked. Oh, here we go. The bathroom. Ah, uh, yes. Scariest room of all. Uh-huh. It's always good to have a spare towel. Clint, you're right, Clint. Okay, why is the faucet on the long part of the bathtub? I've seen bathtubs like that. I haven't. That's weird. If I look directly below, I can see the path around the side of the house. Hmm. Tub? Like every kid, I have many good bath time memories. <laughs> Mainly running away when it was time for a bath. Those are good times. I wonder if there's anything useful in- Oh, the medicine cabinet! Take the pills. Yes. Always take All whatever them. pills you find in the medicine cabinet. Always. Always smart to carry an antiseptic. Dink. I mean, yeah, but that means you're gonna have Scrub to Scrub those it. hands clean. You better. Yeah. Can I pee? Oh, it couldn't hurt. Couldn't hurt to have a quick whiz. I mean, we're standing here. Whistles. <laughs> I wash your hands. Okay. You take a pee, you wash your hands. <laughs> you better. What is this? We're always well stocked for toilet roll. Shouldn't he be calling it a loo if I... he's from England land? You would think so. <gasps> oh, it's a spookum. How's the phone alive? I don't know. Hello? Odd. There's nobody there. Because it's dead. Oh my god! <laughs> that was pretty spooky. I'm pretty spooked out. So spooked. Smokey? Are you with the bandit? Cat! Where are you, cat? I don't know. Oh no, my god! Someone painted his eyes red. What in the world? I don't like this one bit. The color scheme is all off. They think those are complimentary, they don't go together, and your perspective! <laughs> He's one of those eyes to match the candles in the room. Oh, is that what it was? <sighs> What's this way? Well, there's a very odd chair. Yeah, window? Oh, picture. What do we got? It's a photo of me as a boy. I didn't enjoy posing for photographs much, but it made my parents happy. <laughs> Were you a little stiff? Oh! I, I liked Picture Day. You just about make out the front garden in the darkness. There's a note hidden in here. Looks like something my mother wrote. I miss my dear Edwin so dreadfully. I hope that he's resting peacefully in heaven. He always referred to me as 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 3 through 4. Okay. Bible. Oh, his name's not Philip. No. Oh, I'm disappointed. I'll call him Philip for you. Please. I want this. If you're using that voice, you have to say <laughs> Philip. It's Dad's old walking stick. Mom mustn't have had it on had it in her heart to part with it. Maybe I can use it later? Tink! I'm gonna smack that demon upside the head is what we're gonna do. <laughs> I like how the wooden walking stick made a metal sound. <laughs> it's the television. Why wouldn't it turn on? The power's still active. Shouldn't he be calling it the telly? It should be. All right, I just, uh... Wait, go back. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna go do the puzzle. Oh, right, the puzzle. Because... It's all the way over here, backtracking all the way. Uh, Dad, so it's a uh, 1 Corinthians One, five. chapter 15, 
verses three through four. four. And God so and God loved so the world, said the world was that he gave his only begotten key <laughs> that whosoever be keyeth in him I'm, I'm done. I bequeath this key to you, my only you know, <laughs> my only son. I used to spin this globe and point my finger at a completely random spot. I told myself that I'd travel there eventually. I still only travel from the United Kingdom. Shouldn't he be calling it the UK? Yeah, why would I don't we don't say the United States. We say the U.S. Or the state. This You're a terrible Britishman. Seems like these boxes are full of a lot of my old things. Bed? Sleep on the bed. Oh, there's no time. No, you need a nap. You do? Every, all of our characters need naps. Old, more old things. Eh? It's completely jammed shut. I need something to find pry it open with. Dad's walking stick would make a good crowbar. I guess. I think. Uh, yeah. I, I mean. I... Not real. Oof. Oh, I, th I think we might have done a thing. There we go. What do we got? Muddlestrop! Muddlestrop? It's been a while since I've seen you, old pal. What is this Muddlestrop? Mud Why do you sound like glass? <laughs> Wait, do I have, like, an inventory? Let's Can check, I... Yeah, let's check the inventory. You have to have an inventory. Oh, uh, item? Muddlestrop! Muddlestrop the donkey! He is our best friend now. Clint's favorite toy as a child and a good place to stash things as an adolescent. Muddlestrop! He keeps your secrets. I wonder what kind of things he stashes. as Treatment a child. alcohol, flammable, my old room key. Okay. I can't actually do anything with these, but I have them. Now that we have Muddlestrop, I feel like we can take on anything. Yes, we are completely safe. Yes. All right. Where, where were we going? Oh, back to the TV room. Yes. There's a, another hallway uh, on the bottom. Just checking. My eye on you. <laughs> Watching you. It's one of those evil paintings where no matter where you stand, it looks like it's looking at your soul. I mean, a lot of paintings do that. That's true. They're all creepy. Ooh, what there's are you? A, there's a circle on the table. Want, give me the circle. It looks like an old apple on the table. Okay, give me. Eat it. G give me the apple. Give me the apple, Clint. You need, you need sustenance, Clint. God, fine. Eat it. Nothing. Over there. There's a fridge. Wouldn't trust eating anything in the fridge. This looks like the kitchen from um, uh. Uh, oh, Maniac Mansion. This kind of looks like the kitchen from uh, from that. Which I've never seen, so really? I have no reference for this. This knife may be of use later. Hmm. I wonder if Muddlestrop... What? Don't you dare! What? No! Don't don't you hurt Muddlestrop! No! Muddlestrop! Okay, first of all, no. no. Second of all, why would you stuff a lighter in your old toy? But Muddlestrop... You, for an empty lighter? All for an empty lighter, Clint. You he, murdered our best friend. You, you're, <sighs> Muddlestrop gave his life for nothing. For an empty lighter. Do we even have Muddlestrop still? We don't even have his carcass? You can at least carry him around still. Restuff him. Oh my goodness, you're a terrible person. Pay homage to that which you have destroyed, Clint. <sighs> at least give him a decent barrel if you just want right to kill him like here, that. Let's just take the shovel. Ridiculous! This should be kept in the shed. Tink, tink. Right, because no one could ever leave a tool outside it's, it's so dark. at night. It's okay, I emit my own light. It's <laughs> just the kitchen. You mean the scene of the crime? Right. You murdered Muddlestrop? There's fluff everywhere, Clint, and it's all on your hands. <laughs> oh, it's just you, Mr. Stuffigan. Haven't laid eyes on you in quite some time. I still wish I didn't have to. You give me the most hellish nightmares. Well, I mean, oh, is it something else for you to murder, Clint? Right. Is that what it is? I mean, Muddlestrop would protect you, but you killed him. It's true. The cellar is shut and the lock seems to rust it out to smash the door in. You could Muddlestrop could have donkey kicked it in, but right? no! You had to go and kill him because you need your empty lighter. Well, look at him dance. I'm trying to get <laughs> to this door here. Ooh, a key. What's this doing all the way out here? Tink. For you to find it. Bucket? There's a hole in this bucket. The rust has eaten through the bottom. There's a hole in my bucket. <laughs> I used to cart hay in this wheelbarrow. That is just a clunky sentence. Fields, I... fields, and more fields. Welcome to the English countryside. I honestly didn't realize that was a wheelbarrow on the wall. Yeah, it's weird, the angle. I knew I picked up this pitchfork for a good reason. Clunk. An axe head? I'm almost certain that we used this sha <laughs> shaft. 
can't remember what we used it for. I'll just pick this yeah, up. Tink. Why not? No, why didn't a hay cell have a tinking sound? Uh, because hay doesn't tink. Everyone knows that. But axe heads do. Okay. Of course. Sure. Scruffigan, watching you. Can I just smash this with the axe in. head? Oh, no. Just, you can't just, like, smack the axe head against the door or something? I mean, I would, but not Clint the murderer. No, he'll just take a random kitchen knife. And murder his best friend, the donkey. Okay, where? I don't even know where I'm going now. I mean, if we had the, if we had the walking stick we could attach to the axe, but we, you used it already. We did. Can I leave? I mean, it's like things can't have two uses. Oh, wait. Can I just leave? Oh, can we leave? Bye. Oh, okay. Bye. We're done. Oh, I can't leave now. I haven't learned anything about my mother. That's not true. You really have... You, you've learned a lot. We learned that she had dementia. And... Yeah. Maybe that guy can jump out the painting. Oh, I got a key. Things. That's right. Um, key... I guess uh, your parents' bedroom. Maybe? Yep. A few articles of clothing neatly folded inside the drawers. This is Dad's old journal. I knew I knew he kept this in his final days, but I've never read it. We'll read, oh. we'll read it now. Hang on, let me grab a sip of my tasty beverage. Yep, get, <sighs> let those lips get ready. Which offensive voice should I go for this time? Oh, I have no idea. What does Philip sound like? Um, 18th May, 1972. <laughs> I cast this sickness for taking hold of me so quickly. The doctor paid me a visit and said that there's nothing I can do. I didn't survive the trenches only to get sick at home and die. Gosh darn you, Roro. <laughs> I just pray to God that my end is quick and my suffering is minimal. 21st May, 72. My legs are so weak that I've got to use a walking stick to help myself around. A walking stick! Can you believe it? Just a month ago, I was chasing the foxes away from the wheat. It's been hard on Clint. But I'm trying to be strong for him. As much as I want him to follow after me on the farm, he's got the brains to make it in London. I have no idea what this voice is doing. <laughs> me neither. 25th May, 1972. First my legs, now my arms. I'm not even 50 years old yet, and I'm almost completely incapacitated. Helen has to be almost everything for me now, while Clint tends to the farm. She's so used to being a housewife that it must be hard for her to do all the manual labor. I love her for doing her best. I picked a good one. It, um, mm, I don't know if I like I, the wording on that so much. You I, need, yeah, hmm. I mean, she's a strong, independent woman, okay? It's true. 26 May, 72. This will be my final entry. I may last another couple of days, but I won't be able to write if I get any worse. I'm scared not knowing for sure where I'll go when I die, but I'm putting my faith in the Lord. I mean, I guess. I've been praying in the name of Jesus Christ that I be forgiven for my sins. I've tried to live a good life and keep out of trouble, but sometimes I fell short. I hope I get shown mercy and forgiveness. I hope that my family look after each other. I'm sure you'll read this at some point, so I'll write it all down for you to read in times of weakness. I love you, Clint. I love you, Helen. I love you too, Dad. Pray you're resting in peace. He doesn't look so sure about that. That's why I... Uh, it's my parents' bed. Nobody's sleeping here now. Wow. Great detective work, detective. There's no one in this bed, detective. <laughs> I mean, we could be detectives, but that's all it takes. It is but a bedside lamp. So much detecting. It's true. This wasn't always here, was it? Scrape. A little mouse hole. Did Mom break this part of the wall? Looks slightly like it was bashed in. Maybe there's something inside. Tink! It most definitely is. Is this for the attic door? He picked up another glass. Uh, I'm assuming a glass key. So many glass keys in this house. And glass axe attic. heads. Attic. Oh, oh okay. Wow. Attic. Wow. Thank you for that. That, that. Oh, mm. hello. Never liked this damn mannequin. Not since I played Silent Hill. Nope. Wait. Why is it in this pose? Well, clearly. Thought the arms were broken. Clearly it's waving hello. And is you've this? Yet, you've yet to greet it. Oh, I'm You're sorry. You're being very rude. Hello, Pip Pip Cheerio, England, <laughs> London. <laughs> Bunch of old canvases. <laughs> Have I offended everybody yet? Not quite. This is just the old piano. I remember moving it up here. 
Why would you put... Ooh! No, pianos are heavy, Clint. Pianos are heavy. What's this? It's in Mom's handwriting. Oh, God. <laughs> First June, 75! It's been three years to the day since Edwin passed away, and my heart still weeps. It's also approaching three years since I spoke to Clint. My guilt ebbs and flows with the day about what I said to him. He hasn't spoke to his mom in three years? Well, the ebbing and flowing. Uh. But it's less and less of late. When he finds out that I'm going to speak to his father, he'll miss out. But, but he's dead, though. But yeah. <clears throat> Second June, 75. I still can't believe it. My Edwin spoke to me. He told me how much he misses me and how horrible it is on the other side. He says I must find a way to bring him back. There needs to be a vessel. Oh, you're getting into some uh -oh. shit. I have a theory. Yeah. It's not Edwin. Oh. oh. It's Philip. Philip. <laughs> a four alive. Another form will do temporarily. Oh, oh, mom's getting some shit. What is she doing? Third June. He's getting angry. Edward never raised his voice to me before this. It must be horrible where he is. The place that he refuses to name. <gasps> He's in Sussex. <laughs> Fourth June, seventy-five. He went in. Oh, oh. no, no, just. No, Did mm -mm. you need to record this? What? No, ma. No. I'm struggling to write. He. No, stop it. <laughs> I mean, I struggle to write, too, if, like, uh, uh, you know. <laughs> this is not my Edwin. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, mother. <laughs> what hellish thing have you done? I think the hellish... Mm, I, uh, no one's clean. No. No. What is this? Like I said, he's got fluff all over his hands, so... Oof. Lighter fuel? Seems kind of pointless with a candle here. Matches would have made a lot more sense. Of course. Detective. I figure I can refill that old lighter of mine. Because I'm a detective. I mean, you could take the candle, too. No, detective. Wait, so what do I have right now? You have... Uh, uh, Lots of things. A key... Key lighter. Key to your old room. Uh, Treatment access. alcohol. Right, why do I have this? I don't know. Could I not have put that in the thing? I... At this point, I don't oh. know. Oh! Well, thank you. Thanks. Finally. Nice to be here. Somebody appreciates me, Clint. It's about time. The detective. Sir, did you write that with your own eye blood? I appreciate it. Thank you. I mean, it's nice to know that I'm welcome, you know. It's true. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello? Who are you? What are you doing here? Oh, dear. Excuse me, officer. I thought everybody was away by now. I saw the police cars leave earlier, but I noticed the lights were still on. I figured somebody must have left them on. I see. I'm an officer, but not for this case. So you're just violating a whole bunch of, uh... A protocol. Oh, My name's Clint Lancaster, and this is my old house. I moved away to London for work years ago, but due to recent events. Oh, my apologies, my apologies. I'm Stefan Birch. I'm a neighbor. <laughs> I'm not familiar with a Stefan Birch. Did you know my father? Uh, no, no, I only moved to these parts a year or so ago. Your accent. Are you from up nor- Oh, no. Oh, is he s oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh dear. <clears throat> he's, a, he's a Scot mm. from the Scotland. Uh, I am Scot. I am not from the Scotland. I really, I really don't want to offend my, like, two Scottish friends. Then, then, you know, then don't do it. Unless <sighs> you're, like... I'm not, I don't, I don't really... <laughs> I'm not going to make you do it. I'm not going to make me Although do it Although I really should. Either. Nice uh, to meet you, Stefan. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me. No, all oh, it was nice to meet you, Clint. Oh, <laughs> God damn it! Sorry we didn't meet under more pleasant circumstances. Stop by for a cuppa at some point before you go back to London. I'll see myself out. <laughs> Again, apologies to everybody in the world. Thanks, Stefan. Thank you, Stefan. Get off my property, you bloody Scott. Don't don't talk about stuff like that. It's not nice. Right. I was I was yelling at me, not my Scottish friends. Now it's probably down to one. <laughs> oh! Oh! It's a bird. Is it a bird? Or a plane? Is it Muddlestrop? What is this? Did the cat bring this in here? Yeah, where is Smokey? We haven't seen yeah, or heard, we've from heard the cat him, but we haven't since. seen him. Yeah. Wait. Uh, oh! Okay. Oh. Something's missing. Yep. 
Where's Mr. Stuffigan? We know exactly where Mr. Stuffigan is. I don't Stuffigan like is. this. It's the shaft of that old axe. I can dig it. We used to secure Mr. Stuffigan after his post broke. Wait. Where's Mr. Stuffigan? We'll see if I can secure the old axe head to the shaft. Now I gotta go scarecrow hunting. There we go. It's far from sturdy, but it should be good for a few swings. Tink! Yeah. <laughs> I fixed it. And now let's immediately use it. Right? The axe should do... Bam. It didn't there. tink. He got rid of the door completely. Yeah. Nope. A torn piece from the Holy Bible? Who would dare tear this out? The Holy Bible, not just a Holy Bible. Uh, it's Bible, 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 Jesus, God, Jesus, Bible, sins, Bible. all your sins. Bible. Dear Lord, please forgive my mother for what she's done, for what I'm about to walk into. Bible, Bible, Bible. All right, uh, business, business, business. <laughs> numbers, numbers, numbers. <laughs> this door didn't used to be here. Looks like Mom had it installed and then bound with rope. Why? It's tied too well to pull apart. There are knives upstairs, Clint. You have an axe. Or Yeah. What? No! Don't pour alcohol onto it and then light on fire! Okay, no. No! This is not what Muddlestrom it's... died for! No! No, that's a terrible... You're... You're... But you're a detective! You burned your house down. There's a circle on the floor. What? What is this? Mother, what have you done? This is terrible decorating. Poor little beast. I can't tell what that is. That's the cat. It looks like a rabbit. That poor cat. Or a jackalope? I How don't know. dare she? Azuriel. It's his fault. Who's their fault. Azuriel? Oh no. Clinton Lancaster. Step into the circle. Uh, no. 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 It's oh. a voice. I want to step into a different circle. I don't like this circle. Where's he coming from? Who are you? All around you. What are you? Release me. I don't have the key for that. Let me into your world. Why? Look at this stuff. <laughs> Isn't it neat? <laughs> Wouldn't you think my collection of souls complete? Uh, I see what you did there. I'll do no such thing. I'll destroy this damn circle. There, oh, I destroyed no! it. Oh, it's, it's Mr. It's the stuff, stuff again. What evil has possessed you? It's a scarecrow. It's I mean, they're evil to, regardless. Egg! <laughs> Unhand me! He doesn't have hands. Unstraw me! <laughs> quickly, quickly! Where is it? Got it. What? Yeah, what are we... Lucky for me, my friend. Straw's flammable. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Do, um, do, oh do, my god. Do you want ice for that burn? Oh! If you're still listening, I thank you for the attention. Oh, who's talking here? I have no idea. Should you see Azuriel's circle in a book, destroy it. Should you hear somebody discuss Azuriel's circle, stay well away from them. Should you see Azuriel's circle on a wall or floor, run. Anywhere Azuriel's circle has been is somewhere that you don't want to be. In the Twilight Zone. <laughs> if you joined in late, please stay tuned because this broadcast will loop. Farewell and Crom bless. <laughs> My name is Clint Lancaster. Oh no, we started I'm over. Detective. Oh no, it looped. We we're stuck in this game forever. It's just like the demon voice said. But we don't have the option to continue, so it's not actually a loop. It's true. The options are these. Anyway, that was fun. That was fun. I like this. This I, was a cute, fun little game. Cute. I like it. Azuriel Circle. Good job. Muddlestrop still died for nothing. Rest in peace, Muddlestrop. 